Hello my friends and welcome to the last part of our teardrop build. You just saw a sneak peek of what it looks like all finished. But before we got there, there was still a whole lot of work to be done. Here, Rémi is working on installing the diesel heater in what will soon be the kitchen of the teardrop. To make sure there is no diesel smell in our kitchen, Rémi tweaked the cap of the tank and put a vent tube through it to guide any evaporation outside. Then came the challenge to install the solar system, which ended up working very well. Okay. Click. The solar system was definitely the most expensive part of this whole project, but we thought it was worth the investment as we will be able to be totally independent during our travels. Ah, mais quand même, il y a This last week before we finally left for our trip honestly felt like sprinting a marathon which isn't a very sustainable pace. But lesson learned, we will stop underestimating the time it takes to create big projects like this one. And we will definitely plan out times for hiccups, which is part of every adventure. Nothing always goes as smoothly as we think it will. But still, overall, everything turned out beautifully in this camper, and despite the puzzles and the challenges, Rémi handled this like a champ. His craftsmanship keeps on blowing my mind.
Assembling the last pieces of the camper was beyond real as we saw it all coming together. There were moments when it was a bit harder to wake up from a nap to keep on going, but finishing this thing became a motivation big enough to push our limits a bit further. As my daughter Aurélie will come with us only half of the trip, we had to think of a way to make her a bed that we could remove or tuck out of the way at some point. Rémi came up with this platform that we will then be able to use as a shelf or a desk when she comes back home. These were the brackets that came with the back panel mechanism. They weren't strong enough to support the weight of it, so Rémi had to custom make new ones. This is an example of hiccups that had on time on a project. But eventually, every item on the to-do list was complete, and we were finally ready to leave. I might not be the most objective on that matter, but isn't it the cutest camper you've ever seen? <laughs> In my eyes, it is, surely. So here's the final look of the camper. Hope you like it as much as we do. We will soon bring you on a tour while we travel, and I leave you on a glimpse of what is to come for us now living full-time in this teardrop. Let's say winter has found us much sooner than expected. You'll discover how we survived very soon. And until our next adventure, have a good week.